deep in the heart of Blackwood Forest, where the trees stood tall and their branches intertwined like skeletal fingers, there was a legend. It was said that on certain nights, when the moon was full and the fog rolled in thick, a voice could be heard calling from the woods. Jack, a skeptic by nature, decided to investigate. Armed with only a flashlight and his resolve, he ventured into the forest at midnight. The air was cold, and every rustle of the trees, it was faint, almost like a whisper. Help me. Jack froze, his heart pounding. He shone his flashlight in every direction but saw nothing. The voice came again, louder this time. Help me. Driven by curiosity and a sense of duty, Jack followed the voice. The fog thickened, and the trees seemed to close in around him. The voice grew clearer, more desperate. Please, help me. Jack stumbled upon an old, abandoned cabin. Its wooden door creaked as he pushed it open. Inside, the air was stale and cold. Cobwebs hung from the ceiling, and dust covered the floor. In the corner of the room, he saw a figure huddled, shivering. He approached slowly. Are you okay? He asked, his voice trembling. The figure turned, and Jack's blood ran cold. It was a girl, her eyes wide with terror, but her mouth was sewn shut. The voice came again, this time from behind him. Help me. Jack spun around, but there was no one there. The voice was inside his head now, growing louder and more insistent. He felt a cold hand on his shoulder and turned to see the girl standing, her mouth still sewn shut, but her eyes pleading. Before he could react, the world went black. When Jack awoke, he was lying on the forest floor, the cabin nowhere in sight. The voice was gone, but the terror lingered. He stumbled out of the forest. V reached the edge of the woods. He heard it one last time. A faint whisper carried on the wind. Help me. 